Oh, yeah. Can't forget my arms, too. Hello. Oh, there. I, I'm even wearing shorts to do gleam on the legs. Ooh. I know. I have such my a brushes, tan so bronze gleam spot. on. I can't take we it. We are live. Okay. <laughs> Let's wait a few for some people to get on. Oh, my God. I can't take it. We are live. We're going to wait just a few like minutes. No, you look hot. Well, thank yes. you. I'm, bring I'm out, gleamed bring the, out the hell ladies. up. I have on my rose gold. It okay, who has which day. gleam, uh, gleam uh, shade? I've got peach deluxe on right now. I'm doing opal. opal. Okay. I'm deep bronze. Okay. Melanie specifically made this for me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does do gorgeous, magical things on that olive skin tone, I must say. I love it. It's my favorite. I'm in rose, peach, opal, disco, deep. I'm, I'm in all the shades. And then I've got the dust happening and I, I set it and... You know, I'm doused. Got the dust right here too. Okay, I look All better right. now. Let's go. Scattered, smothered, <laughs> and covered. I cannot thank you yeah, guys not enough. Forge. <laughs> you know me that if we were in regular times, and it's probably a blessing because I probably would have spent way too much money on some fabulous party. So, anyways, this is it, and I I can't be more honored and grateful to have. You guys here with me today on this early in, in the Pacific morning and on a Saturday in Memorial Weekend. <laughs> Any well, excuse to party with you, Mel? Now. It's a good time to start <laughs> drinking. I know. Let's let's all get our glasses ready and let's start, yes. shall we? We've got some people going on. So let's go ahead and start the party. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Yay. Cheers, you guys. Congratulations. Congratulations Belle. Congrats, Belle. Welcome everybody to 10 years of gleam. It's 10 years of Melanie Mills Hollywood. Can you believe it? And we're parting today with amazing, amazing uh, friends of Melanie and Melanie herself. We've got Melanie Mills, James Vincent, Andrew Velasquez, and Natalie Malchev all coming together here to party with Melanie Mills celebrating Gleam. Now here's the deal also, because Melanie is celebrating her 10 year anniversary, she's giving away a PR box. Oh my God, okay. What? This PR box is crazy because it's worth over $700. And wow. I'll show you the box. Ooh. I don't have the stuff inside because I'm using it. But look at this box. There's like a bunch Stunning. of stuff inside <laughs> all, pro all Melanie Mills products. Now, here's what you have to do in order to win. All right, we're on Facebook Live. So, in order for me to add you to our wheel of fortune, you have to comment and chat with us and engage with us throughout the program. It's about a one hour program. Sit back, relax, grab a coffee, grab a mimosa and watch Melanie Mills and friends live talk about all the amazing things happening with Melanie Mills, great stories, just a really fun, fabulous hour. So once we talk, if you wanna add questions, comments, anything, go for it because I need to see who's on in order to add your name. And at the end of the hour, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the wheel and we're gonna go ahead and uh, name a winner. Now, here's the thing. If you are already someone who has received a PR box, then um, you're disqualified, sorry. So it's only- And a lot of you lawyer. still haven't gotten your PR boxes because I am a small company and we send about 10 to 20 a week and the list that are getting them is about 300 fabulous supporters wow. please. so if i've asked for your address that means you're getting the box but yeah so this is for the fans today yes the fans the loyalists the gleam malicious lovers so here we go are we ready to celebrate we've got it happening we've got a whole big uh audience <laughs> live right now everybody wants the box all right <laughs> and gentlemen, without further ado, let's welcome the Gleam Queen herself, Melanie Mills. Yay! Oh, you Ooh. guys. I may cry a few times. Oh, my God. It, it's unbelievable. I can't believe it. Um, like I had said earlier, I wish this could be some beautiful party like I've had in the past for my launches. But, you know, the times have forced us into this, and it was just impossible to plan something fabulous like that but this is cool i know everybody's getting really zoomed out um i we will also be celebrating live 
in person with all of the makeup shows this year uh, in Houston and Chicago and New wow. York that we will be at. So make sure to come to the makeup show just because God damn it, beyond just seeing me and celebrating 10 years, we all got to see each other, say hi, hug, see what's going on the new in the beauty community. Um, but yeah, so today we're doing the Zoom party and I just cannot be more honored to have the three of you on board with Alina moderating as well. I mean, really, really long time, amazing, not only friends, but like major supporters of the brand. And I also do happen to know that you, I, the, the products are legit a part of your kit staples. So that just means everything. And you guys have tagged away so many times and just shared it with all your friends and slathered all your, you know, your, your beautiful <laughs> clients and slathered. and your celebrities with the, these products. And, um, you, you guys have just been such amazing supporters. I've got Andrew Velasquez, who's such a good friend, who we met, God, I, I want to say before Gleam, I want to say it was like backstage fashion show stuff, maybe even. I can't really remember. Yeah, it was during my Mac days, but I've been on my oh, own. Oh, God, okay, it just hit me. Hello. We met at Anastasia of Beverly Hills, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, well, no, he no, no. was... We, we met before, we knew of each other before, but we formerly met at Anastasia Beverly Hills and so I've been on my own for seven years now so this is I don't know a, I was with him for four years so seven I can't do math I'm gonna make a point seven eight nine ten eleven so I think <laughs> 11 years it's been 11 years <laughs> we met through Anastasia I was brand ambassador at the time you were doing some sort of brand thing with them too and I'll never mm -hmm. forget it because we had the best time in New York at the makeup show in 2011. May was the first time that I debuted with the makeup show. Yes. And I actually shared a tiny end of an eight foot table of Anastasia's. This is before Anastasia was what Anastasia is today. Right. And um, we had. What was that? Sorry, I was telling Jeremy to move the light. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. <laughs> and no, we, the, we I just had so much fun. Show. Yeah, no, it was incredible. And you're right. Anastasia Beverly Hills at the time was like two tables. And you, Melanie, just had a little corner with your uh, ceramic, you know, skews and your the few products that you had at the time. And that was it. We fell in love at first sight. It was like, let's glean each other all over. Let's hang out. We went <laughs> out. And I just, we couldn't get rid of one another. And I couldn't be happier to be your colleague, your friend, your family, and your supporter, because I am a true fan of Melly Mills Hollywood. And I, honestly do use it in my salon on set at the schools because it's just and not myself I even had it at my wedding which that's how close like I love this brand so you know that oh you know what I love that story because yes Andrew was like oh my god you know would you mind doing like some you know gleam gifts for my guests I was like absolutely well I, I wanted to buy them yeah I was like, hell no, this is your wedding, a wedding gift. And, um, you know, and they were wearing white on a white boat in like where the Caribbean or something. Yes. Completely yes. bronzed out. Like you guys were so tan and gleam malicious and the entire party was. And that's just like a small part of how special, you know, each of you are and, and you and just like that one great little experience, not to mention you did work back backstage in the fashion week shows with me. And we've mm -hmm. collaborated so many times. You've done my hair and makeup for lives. I've been to your wedding too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Which is fabulous. Yes. No, I, I'm so grateful for our friendship for, um, I mean, you know how I feel about you and like, and all of you guys, like I know Natalie, I'm just getting to know you a little bit more too, but I just feel like- uh, Didn't you be best friends, of course. <laughs> absolutely. We're, we're all lights in this beautiful galaxy and we're here to cross each other's lives and gift each other with some kind of love and compassion. And hopefully that be infectious with everybody else around us. And I feel that Gleam 100% represents that because anyone that I know that have used it or has experienced it feels the same way. So whatever you're putting in that concoction, it's working and- I want more of it. So thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course we have, I'm just going to quickly kind of introduce uh, 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 James and Natalie as well. I'm going to give a quick, quick little intro into how Gleam got started. And then we'll bump to you, Andrew, because we know that look at you, you're in your salon and you have a client coming. <laughs> so um, yes. So we have Natalie, who is a good friend who I actually became friends with not too long ago, like three, four years ago, maybe. Um, 
I mm-hmm. kind of found her because she does the makeup of one of my favorite radio hosts, Heidi Hamilton with 95.5. So I kind of found her that way and was like, hey girl, <laughs> then I was like, wait a minute, your makeup's like off the chain. Um, let me send you some stuff, <laughs> which that just started this like amazing relationship And then Natalie is also a union makeup artist. So I've been able to hire her on a lot of my projects. And Natalie has just been such amazing supporter and just drenching all of her beautiful clients. Sheila E's one of them. She can get into that if she wants to. This girl's in demand, baby. (laughs) And um, she also, not only, she does my makeup and hair all the time. I I would look way better today if she was with me today, but... um, and you look she beautiful. Just, <laughs> she just finished American Idol and she's moving on to other bigger and better things. And I just, I just cannot thank you enough for being here today too. And James, James Vincent, who, you know, he, it, uh, you know, we met James before the makeup shows. I was doing a fashion week in Shelly's Metro, Metro, huh? the name in, in that studio. And I'll never forget it. It was this men's line and the uh, designer wanted all the guys to look like they had just come out of a storm. Yeah. So, like, cool. <laughs> and all of a sudden James comes backstage and he's like, hi. And you know, those particular shows that I was doing, we would do like nine, five to nine designers a day. We'd be pumping through 90 to like a hundred models a day. And I was in a way teaching a lot of young new makeup artists too that were helping me for free on, yeah these backstages and James comes up and I you know I had heard of him but he's like oh my god like he's so in love with like the icy thing Mm -hmm. and it was just so great to have met you and then that led into then becoming family with the makeup show James is a director of the makeup show as well as I think or word icon legends total legend this guy has has been in the business for so long he's your true deal New York grungy pop music god the music that surrounds him and the people and the opportunities he's had as well as Mm -hmm. honestly being such a huge part of the makeup show Mm -hmm. um and the makeup show is one of the best things for makeup artists in my opinion ever because none of us back in the day ever had these opportunities to meet brand owners and shop the way we get to shop with the discounts, but also the ton of education that you throw into those and not to mention just the inspirational panels. So we will get into that, but you guys, thank you again so much. And just a real quick intro, because we got to get to Andrew. Basically Gleam, I was running the makeup show on Dancing with the Stars and I was in need of really evening out these horribly spray tanned dancers to be quite honest it was the bane of my existence it drove me insane it kept me awake at night I would get into like literally kind of arguments with the producers and the wardrobe teams because the the pro dancers loved to spray tan so much that it was just overboard it was like muscle you know town orange on crack like and I just remember thinking like that was the first thing I thought when I walked into those rooms was like first of all what is spray tanning because I had never really heard of it or dealt with it professionally two how the hell do I get a grip on this especially like with all the wardrobe and we just entered the world of HD the the hideous world of HD in my opinion on top of that we had all this crazy lighting and then they're sweating and they're you know it's just it's it's it was crazy. So beyond having to push like a ton of actors that are used to being like on single camera, well lit stages that the biggest lash they probably ever wore was like a Demi Wispy. Oh. Um, and, you know, <laughs> getting them to wear lashes for days, sometimes up to four pairs, introducing glow to television because it really like this, what you're seeing was not existent. We did everything to fight any sort of glow. Actually, it might have been a little highlight. Um, so beyond those challenges, then I had these body challenges and then I had like the celebrities that didn't want to spray tan. And, um, so I took control by learning the spray tanning situation, really delving in with multiple companies. I I worked with California tan. I worked with Jan Tana. I actually worked with the bodybuilding tanning solution because they loved that stuff. And I was trying to understand (laughs) it. I actually had her on for a year. Um, And then it turned into Saint-Tropez, which I had the opportunity to be a brand ambassador and product developer for for over six years. And that that 
without me realizing it was grooming me to have my own line, but I didn't even realize it. And Michelle Feeney, who used to be the CEO of Mac and Bumble and Bumble and Lemaire, and she was just an amazing powerhouse woman, um, was the president of San Tropez. So I had that pleasure and opportunity to work with her and kind of like be in rooms with her, watching her make all these fabulous decisions. Um, so that was really, really cool. But that, so, so still though, by really understanding all this body makeup, the sunless tanner, I mean, I still needed a body makeup that would hydrate the skin because sunless tanners, especially back then, and especially with those girls, the way they were using it, their skin just looked like snake skin. It was so dehydrated and cracking and different colors and green and blah, 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 all these crazy things. And so the body makeups that were available on the market just were not working for my needs. And it was really frustrating. And so Nadez Schoenfeld, who's probably on board here with us today, who I had as my head body makeup artist, and she's still there to this day on Dancing with the Stars, her and I just started mixing up out of frustration so many different existing products, lotions, oils, pigments, glitters, whatever we could, testing it right there on the celebrities on live television. And it took a couple of years to get to the, the formula that the dancers themselves ended up calling Gleam. So when the girls were happy, I knew I hit it, you know? So then when I started having celebrities and dancers like drive out to my house, which wasn't super close to Hollywood, um, my, my great grandma, my biggest inspiration of my life had just passed. She lived a wonderful 97 years and she had left me with an inheritance. And I decided with my mom and my grandma to go for it, not knowing anything about the cosmetic industry or how to be a businesswoman in that sense. And I, I, I actually did approach Jantana and even Girlactic, Galit with Girlactic to develop the product first for me as like a collab. And it was Galit that said, you know, Mel, I think you can do this on your own. Here's the name of a lab. If you can't come back to me. Well, it was that lab in Chatsworth, California and that particular, um, person at that lab that did really, really help me and, and get the first tubes of what was called at the time Gleam by Melanie Mills Four Shades um, in that package and to market by May of 2011. So that is just like a little tidbit of how it got started. I've got some fun facts and some other interesting stories that I'm going to sprinkle in, but let's hear from Andrew because he has to do some hair <laughs> and makeup in a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, that I love that story. I love hearing about it. It's so inspiring. You are so inspiring. And I just love supporting women that are creative and just a force, you know, and you, that's, that's all about you. So I'm here to support you. I'm a, I'm a fan too. I'm your friend, but I'm a longtime fan as well because I believe in high quality products that I would use on myself, that I would use in my kit at the salon that I would use on set for freelancing. So um, I mean, I even use it at my own wedding. Like that's how much I'm in love with this brand. So I'm very grateful for that. And yeah, I've been doing this for 21 years. I have uh, been on my own for seven years. I have 11 years of Mac Cosmetics retail experience, corporate as well, and four years of national makeup artistry with Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is where I met Melody. And we were at the makeup show of that James directs um, in New York. And um, we just had a good old gay time and we just can't get rid of each other <laughs> <laughs> and it was pouring rain i'll never forget that it was pouring rain and man we had fun, City, though. super fun and yeah any chance we've had to collaborate whether it's at a fashion show whether it's for social media because through our friendship social media was kind of mm -hmm. like invented there was no instagram prior to us i mean we were like word of mouth we had business cards and we'd go with a book like <laughs> when you know what I mean like that was the portfolio it was like a real life book um and so yeah I mean Gleam is just everything and it's just I'm so proud of you I'm so happy that it's still can we mention uh, Andrew mention the show that you came in runner up on hello and it was it, you used it practically every day there too that was a huge deal and I was so proud of you and just a quick little backstory the, he let me know he was doing it it was top mm -hmm. secret he yeah. had to go to a hotel, have his phone taken away from him. And I was just dying during the whole thing. It was just <laughs> so exciting. So tell us a little bit about that. I had just finished working with Tyra on Top Model for three weeks. So I was quarantined on that show first. And then uh, we wrapped, which was great because I knew about America's uh, American Beauty Star, which is the show that I was on while I was working there. So I was able to 
kind of be a sponge with Tyra and just soak her in. And when I eventually got to American Beauty Star, which we were also quarantined for three weeks in a hotel, shuttle and studio, um, we had to prep our kit. We had to prep our 12 outfits. Uh, it was six, six freelancers, six influencers, and 12 of us were uh, in the chance of competing over $100,000 your own cover of Vogue and your own makeup collection. So of course I had to have Gleam in my kit because I knew that I was gonna do head to toe stuff. And um, yeah, it was amazing. It was a great experience that I highly recommend every platform artist tackle on to see what their potentials are and just take a risk in seeing like where they can land in this. And I know at the end that like, I did a good job because I landed as top three. And although I didn't win the title, title winner, I won in so many other ways and in experience, I wrote a book that I'm currently working on. Um, oh, it's, wow. It's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a body art makeup book that's in homage to my Ooh. culture. And um, I finished over the last time being quarantined last year, I finally wrapped it up. And now I'm producing the artwork, the visuals. For and it, so you worked with John who helped me with my book. Yes, he's my editor. So John is currently helping. We meet every week, basically, and he's so happy with it. Um, I want to share more about it, but I'm kind of like holding out until I have a final <laughs> mock-up. But um, it's, yeah, it's going to be a really epic celebration of just everything. And Gleam is totally in that book as well. So, so yeah, American Beauty Star was awesome. Um, I love just being a passionate artist and sharing knowledge at the makeup show with James and with Melanie and just being a part of our amazing community. I think all of us have a responsibility to continue that, um, you know, that presence with one another and share with everyone around us because there, there's already enough animosity and enough hatred in our world as it is. So we can just continue to share that love, that light, that gleam, and um, we'll be all good. You know what I mean? I think this is a new promising year for all of us. So Congratulations to my friend, Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> you are the winner, Shante, you stay. And I'm here to death drop another 10 more years with you. And I just want to congratulate <laughs> you. And thank you for everything. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I love heart. You. you. I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. Another thing <laughs> that I just love about all of you is being a part of all of your successes as well. And I have known about that book for a long time. You told me about your idea way back when. And yes. I feel honored that I was able to be a small part of that and just beyond honored to have had you paint my face and do my hair and be at the weddings and the parties. And I love Johnny, your husband too. And Thank you really you. should follow Andrew. He's an amazing makeup artist, a beautiful soul. Andrew, what are your, um, your tags and all of that? Because also you started a new YouTube channel about you and your husband's uh -huh. um, adventures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my handle is my name, Andrew Velasquez, which is on the little Zoom um, bottom left of my screen. And you just add a handle at the bottom, like underscore. And yeah, during the pandemic, that was our uh, project was to start a traveling blog. We bought a camper and we started traveling local areas to the mountains, deserts. But because we that's our shared passion, we just continued it when everything started opening. We got vaccinated. So we went to Puerto Rico to celebrate our seven year wedding anniversary. We're going Ooh, to Croatia. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to Croatia in August and Hawaii in October and Ooh. a lot of camping little trips in between because yes, we love our jobs. We love our crafts, but there's got to be a balance in life. And that's kind of like our message is like mind, body, soul is like, yes, we want to be there for our clientele and we want to grow and share our passion, but we also want to be present for one another and be able to, uh, to be a hundred percent there after a nice vacation, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so, so, important. Follow, yes. so important. It's it's called Johnny and Andrew. That's the name of the travel vlog on YouTube. Your page is so cute, I follow you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Natalie. But yeah, I gotta go, you guys. I have a client waiting. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank Hi, you Andrew. So much. Thank you, Andrew. So then let's I'll lead into love you, boo. Gleam on, stay gleamtastic. Thank uh, you. Melanie, we have a lot of comments. Can I just read a few comments? Yeah, yeah, please. People in. We've got people joining us, so I want them to catch up because as soon as they're joining and, and commenting, I'm adding you on to our wheel of names. So if you are uh, tuning in, stay tuned till the very end 
as long as you comment, I'm adding you onto the wheel of names where we're going to be announcing a winner for a $700 PR box from Melanie Mills. And all you have to do is comment, be a gleam lover, tell us what you love about it. And if you are already receiving a PR box, well, you're already getting one. So you don't need to uh, go ahead and do that. But um, I've got- If we do I pull think, you up accidentally, I'm yes, going to have to chime in and just say, just sorry, I don't qualify, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's just crazy commenting. Christopher Petka says, I love Gleam for so many reasons. I can paint my under uh, underglow. I can put over top any makeup. That's just the face, instant, beautiful, multi-dimensional uh, color on no sun bodies. Yes. And then we have another person saying there are so many ways to use the wonderful product. I use it in all colors for primer, under makeup, all, all over. And then somebody mentioned, Suni said, I'll never forget your Dr. Oz appearance, the collective gasp from the studio audience when you apply Gleam. So oh, okay. Comments. So that's my mom, Sunny, who is an oh, investor funny. in the company. Thank you, mom, for joining. Uh -huh. I think my grandma's on here too. And they have both invested, um, silent investors into this company. And they've been through this wild ride of ups and downs with me. And, um, you know, it, I, I can't thank them enough. I do everything to make them proud. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so thank oh, you. Yeah. And, and that, that was a, a let, me, let me just quickly touch on that story because that is fun. So I had the opportunity to be on Dr. Oz. We were really brand new. We, it was still called Glean by Melanie Mills. It was still just the four shades. Um, it was in the black packaging. And um, I had a PR company at the time that really helped me nail some amazing opportunities. And Dr. Oz is one of them. And I, I wrangled in San Tropez because he wanted to do a segment on how to lose 20 pounds visually with makeup and sunless tanners. So I had my best, one of my best friends at the time, Fiona Locke, uh, able to come to New York. Nick and I, we were on this major tour doing all this stuff with Shop HQ. And we actually had to divert and come in. And I remember saying, well, can they do it on another date? And Matt's like, get on a plane and get your butt over there. And um, it was, I was a nervous wreck. Um, I, I remember this so clearly. I remember the dress I was wearing. I had treated myself. I went to Saks uh, that day or the day before and bought myself a Louis Vuitton scarf, this beautiful silk scarf. The dress was coral. The, the scarf had corals and whites and had tassels and it was silk. Well, when we get to go live, that fucking scarf kept slipping all over the place. And I finally just like threw it. I don't <laughs> or something like that. It was so funny, but it was a long segment. We were on for 20 minutes or something like that with him. And it is true, like when we went to go do the body makeup, the before and after, it, the, the audience literally did gasp. Um, what's so crazy is that this idea of shimmering body glow, body makeup has come along so far. Now, my product, I do feel is very different from the rest and all the ones that have knocked me off. Um, because, of course, you can use it on the face. It's actually really great and hydrating for everything. But um, no, that mom, thanks for that one. That was a fun memory. That that was that was cool. But um, yeah, let's head over to Natalie. Like, I'm like emotional because you're emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. So me. where do I even start? I, I'll probably get emotional talking about this, Mel, but um, I owe Melanie so much. Like I don't even know where to start. Like I'm just in so many ways, you have been the, like the catalyst to where I feel like I am now. And to this day, I mean, I, to everyone knows, like without you, I will not, I would have not been where I am now, I think. And I just want to say thank you and give you so much gratitude because you believed in me, like with honestly, like right off the bat, like, yeah, you see my work on Instagram, but again, Instagram doesn't show I don't think it really just, you know, show people like sometimes their real work and real life. And I felt like you, you know, you took a chance on me and had me come into, you know, your team and, you know, just work on these amazing projects with you. And I learned so much just from watching you do makeup, um, having our talks in between takes and stuff like that. And, um, you know, to this day, I'm like, oh, you know, I learned this from Melanie or I learned this from Melanie or I learned this from Melanie. And, I, every day I feel like you are part of my day, not just with Gleam, um, because this is obviously in my kit always. I mean, I can't get enough of it. Hello. Like there's more in my kit. <laughs> so this is my personal only. And 
Um, I just, I, I want to say thank you. And from the bottom of my heart, I literally feel like you were sent to me, you know, via Heidi. And it's just this connection of, um, of women that, you know, it all just connects and I love it. And the universe, I feel like, let me be a part of your life. And, um, and yeah, so I want to say thank you for that, for, for giving me a chance and believing in me as, you know, as an artist. So, um, but yeah. I mean, that I means the world <laughs> to, make you to cry again. girl. And, and I mean, it is true. And, and I, and there's probably a lot of people on the page right now that might chime in or feel the same way because I have believed in giving people chances. Um, and, and yeah, it was, it was like a natural thing. And, and, y you know, you have taught me so much too, you know, so with every experience uh -huh. that I've been able to help and guide and, and be a catalyst for all these wonderful people, you, you have well, as well, have been so important to me and I've learned so much from you. I mean, let's face it. You're, you know, you uh -huh. are the newer kid on the block and you have different <laughs> techniques and I'm constantly reaching out for photoshopping help and like other help like that. Um, I'm like, and Chanel, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I'm like, what are you, you know, talking just, about? What? What the photoshop? <laughs> I'm just so I'm proud like, of you. And I just love having you with me as well for my big events when, when I was forced to do during quarantine, um, QVC and Shop HQ, I was lucky enough to have her come and do my hair and makeup. I was a nervous wreck. And I was, of course, optimistic, but knew that the chances of success weren't going to be great. I mean, 2020 was supposed to be the year, guys. I, I repackaged my entire line. I'm going to give a quick little thing. I, I almost shut down in 2018, 2019. It wasn't, it just kind of took a dip. Basically, um, I got some sort of weird banning or shadow banning or whatever you want to call it on Instagram, which a lot of my income came from. And suddenly like things just started to kind of go downhill. And it was just like, whoa, this isn't cool. Not to mention, I was still working on the sets like 70 hour weeks since traveling the world and doing all this stuff. And so I remember saying out loud in 2018, or I guess it was 19, um, I, think, I think this is gonna be it. I think I'm gonna get through this inventory and call it a day. It's been fun, it's been great, but the income just isn't there anymore. And I was starting to have to put my own back into it. And it was starting to get really rough and it was horrible. I mean, my God, this is like a huge dream that started with like nothing in a way that grew into something so magical and you can't help but let your ego, you know, get involved in there and your passion and just your heart and the heart break. But I actually did say that out loud. I did still have to go to, I had already gotten the prototypes to all of my new packaging because I'd been working on that for over a year. Um, and then I had gotten this big deal through a Kuwaiti situation. And I thought, okay, I can take this money and pay off the debt and be done with it. But I did have already paid for a big show in Cosmoprof. Um, and so I, I went and I debuted the packaging regardless. And I got such amazing feedback from Nordstrom's and Ulta, people that I'd been chasing forever, QVC, Shop HQ, um, all, you know, international, all this stuff. And everybody loved the new packaging so much that I, you know, and, and then I got booked to do QVC. So I thought, okay, we're back. Okay. And I went ahead and didn't pay off that debt and took the money that I had made to invest in this new packaging. Well, because I was going to be on uh, QVC and they had me booked for literally the whole year, I was supposed to fill the shoes of Westmore Beauty. I'd been trying to get on forever, but they had an exclusivity with body makeup and then they had just moved on to Gunthy Ranker. So it opened up the door for me finally. And everybody there was so fucking excited. It was like, oh my God, you're going to fill the shoes. It's going to be amazing. We're going to grow you. It's going to be awesome. I was just like, oh my God, yay. I don't have to be an Ulta Sephora and Nordstrom to all this. If I'm just a QVC baby, fine, great, whatever. But, you know, and so with that, there's always a risk that you do have to produce a bunch of inventory for your potential success. So on top of having repackaged my entire line and adding new SKUs, I then had to also bump up the quantities. Well, long story short, literally I'm launching March 15th, 2020, my new packaging. We all know the world shut down March 13th. 
Um, half of my retail skimmed in two corners or shut down themselves. And it just got real quiet now because I was, I, I still did have to launch, but of course I had to launch via Skype. And so Natalie, Natalie was there for me, for the excitement, the nerves, and also the disappointment of not having been successful. <sighs> you know, it's real. It's real. It's not easy. It's not, and uh, you know, all this was <clears throat> my family and I's money. So when you do get gifts from me, that's out of my pocket. You know, the, the, everything I do is, has been self-generated. We've had no outside help. So, you know, the, there's been many highs and lows through the growing of Gleam. All I have to say is besides me thinking I was going to shut down in, in before the, the COVID, well, then let's just talk about the year of 2020, scrambling hard, trying to figure out how to get out of all of that. That is why we sold our house. You know, like, thank God we had amazing equity in the house and we paid everything off. And honestly, everything is on track and growing and back. And I just stuck with it so hard. I scaled back and it's you guys, it's the fans and the supporters. And I just, honestly, I can't, I can't thank you all enough, but that just reminded me of those moments. And, and, and Natalie, you know, you, you've been there with me to sop up the tears and also yeah. to uh, powder me during the, the wonderful games, you know, <laughs> um, you've done my makeup when I've won the Guild Awards and nomination, you know, it's just, it, life is crazy. Stick with it. That's all I have to say. So anyways, if you want to end on that note, Natalie, sorry, I just had to kind of jump yeah, in with no. that. I mean, I feel like I've been a part of a lot of, of Gleam just, you know, in the behind the scenes stuff too. And I've seen you, you know, work so hard and endlessly and worry every day. I feel like you were always worried, you know, and I always told you, no girl, this, there's nothing like this. There's nothing like this. You know, everyone can try to, you know, mimic or replicate. And it's, it's at the end of the day, like what holds up in a makeup um, is gleam, you know? And it's like, that's why I use it everybody on everybody, even men. And I remember that on um, the reel with you, you were putting opalescence on men's arms and necks. And I said, oh, wow. Like my brain had to think like, you know, wait, is this, is this too shiny for men? Like my brain had to rethink this. And you were like, no, watch. And you put it on, uh, I remember who, well, I forget who it was. And I, you said, watch the camera. And I remember looking and I said, oh my God, his skin looks beautiful, but it didn't look like, you know, glittery. And it, it was just the perfect sheen. Um, and he looked crisp and, and he looked like fabulous. So I remember, you know, learning those things like that and just kind of learning the different ways the product uh, was used. And, um, you know, your brushes, when you came out with these babies, you know, I was obsessed and, you know, you give, thank you so much for gifting me them. And I have a few of these and I can do a full makeup, honestly, like yourself when I've seen you do it, full foundation, full concealer, blush, I mean, you can do everything with this brush. I just want to, this is like my hero <laughs> staple brush. And I just want to, you know, I've been putting it on brush. this whole time. We've been talking. I know. I, really I love this brush. Do. I know. I've been and I'm, like I'm, I'm going to add that that brush is only $19.99. I'm crazy. Oh, get it while it's hot. Because this stuff, it, honestly, like, and it, it's, I don't know what it is, but it, it stays like cool, like cold. I don't know if, if that's a thing, it's, but it's, it's just, it's the synthetic fibers and even the fluffy brushes are synthetic. So even though they mm -hmm. seem um, like their hair, they're not, they're all synthetic. And I did them in collaboration with Omnia, who's the Royal Lang Nickel family, that family and the brushes that they've been producing have been around for over a hundred years. So I could nobody better, but to collab with on these brushes. And I feel very blessed because it, it made it easy to do too. And they are magical, yeah. buttery, really wonderful brushes. They really are. Like this is the MM04 and I like just to dust anything on. It's amazing. It feels great. Um, the color is beautiful. It pops on my, you know, on my set and my kit. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm obsessed with Gleam and all my clients are, they always ask, can I have some? Can I have some? Can I have some? So <laughs> I'm like, girl, get yourself some Gleam. So a lot of my clients have their own personal kit of Gleam now. And so now I don't have to, you know, use mine on them. They have their own. Um, 
but yeah, I love it. I'm obsessed. My personal favorite is peach. I put it over the opal today. And um, yeah, I build makeup on top of this. This is my primer. This is my, my everything. So without this, I, especially on brides, um, if you guys go to my bridal page, it's Glam by Natalie, like my normal page, uh, underscore br uh, bridal. And it's everyone's drenched in peach or opal, but mostly peach, I want to say. So yeah, thank you. Mel, always I love support you. Too. I love you. Thank love you, you so, so, so much. Before we get to James, um, I have a fun little story that kind of ties into a New York experience because James, you know, screams New York. And so, of course, I, I'm always, <laughs> I get very reminiscent of those experiences out there. But are there any other comments that you want to um, bring up that people have been saying or? Oh, my God. <laughs> the comments are just going and going and going. I'm just trying to keep up. Um, Z <laughs> says, I've been obsessed with Gleam, such an amazing product. My clients had me down for it. I mean, your story of what you shared with us of, of how you were almost going to shut down, it brought people to tears. I mean, people were loving it that you were sharing it and so vulnerable about it because it's about the journey and we really don't know what the brand goes through. It's just, you know, all, all of a sudden here you are letting us know what it's like to be this brand owner at 10 years of success. Amazing. People are just loving all this stuff that we're doing right now. We're, we're, I mean, it, the, the live is growing with so many more watchers. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you comment like you have been, I've been keeping up with it. I've been adding it to our wheel of names we'll be announcing a winner at the end but you know share the love keep on commenting so i can see you so i can add you to the names it's it's just really a lot of love melanie you have to go back afterwards and read oh i will i will it's we crazy can't see it so crazy. Yeah, because we're we, uh, alina has this uh link in via zoom because it's better quality than going live live through the uh through the facebook but um so I will be going back and I will be making sure to say hi and see all of the love. And I, again, I cannot thank you enough. I'm going to tell another really kind of fun story. A lot of people ask me why I, it changed from Glean by Melanie Mills to Melanie Mills Hollywood. Um, so I've had the, 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 the opportunity and, and the awesomeness to be able to stay in touch with Michelle Feeney, who I had mentioned earlier, who was the president or CEO of San Tropez, who I had been working closely with for like six years and um, at, even after I left, we still kept in touch and I would go to London often and, and we, you know, touch base. And so I did reach out and say, you know, how can I get into Sephora? How can I get like maybe bought by Estee Lauder? How, you know, and then she's like, and I happened to have been in New York that time. I was in there. I don't know why I was there. Maybe a trade show, maybe multiple things, but um, and she said, where are you right now? And I said, I happen to be in New York. And she said, you know what? Let me call a friend and let me get back to you, but leave the next couple of days. She said, how long are you there? I said, you know, blah, blah, blah. She goes, well, you may have to do something that you're going to have to drop something for, but I guarantee you it's going to be worth it. So she calls me back and she said, guess what? You're going to meet with John Dempsey tomorrow at 8 a.m. at the Estee Lauder offices. And it was like, what? <laughs> Did somebody and, call? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so talk about not sleeping, talk about like totally nerve wracked. I had never done a pitch meeting like that with anybody of that, you know, that level. And they, they, bas I got in at eight. I had 20 minutes basically because of Michelle Feeney and their relationship. He slid me in into their early morning activity. I'll, I'll never forget it. I remember what I was wearing. It was all black, this lacy, another scarf situation, you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> I probably had a fabulous bag with me. I can't remember exactly which one. I probably went and bought one just for the damn experience. But um, <laughs> uh, I was I was just beyond, you know, just so excited. And I remember going in there with all the products and I was getting ready to like lay them out and demonstrate them. And he just kind of was like, no, 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 I, I don't need to see all of that. And I'll never forget. And I don't know if it was just because it was super early, but first of all, the experience of going in that building with James, I'm sure you've been in um, and going up to those offices is pretty spectacular as a makeup artist or a brand. It's phenomenal. The history involved with that company, 
just the damn lobby and the coffee service is like totally amazing. And then the <laughs> view of Central Park, because it's right there across from the plaza, like at the beginning of Central Park. It was just so surreal. I go into this little meeting. It was with him and Lori. I, I'm blanking on her last name. She was the VP of New Brands. She, they were both dressed, by the way, like, uh, I mean, that New York, like his suit had to have been 20K. Like, I mean, and they just look so polished and so amazing. And I was so impressed with that alone. Sat down, started to do the pitch and he kind of calmed me down and said, no, 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 we don't want a product pitch. Let's talk about your brand where it's been, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he kept going like this, closing his eyes and kind of doing this. And in my head, I was like, is he nodding off? Is he like totally just <laughs> doing this as a favor to Riyadh and just like, you know, but he was thinking, you know, and um, he loved my book. He really did. And he, and it was funny because he said, if you weren't doing on, if you weren't on this path, I'd hire you as a major ambassador for Mac, you know? Um, and he just, he, he just kept saying, so at the end of the meeting, he said, look, you're, you're not ready for us. We're not, you know, you're not ready for us to purchase you. You're not at the place you need to be, but let's get you to that place. And he said, the first thing I want you to do is you need to put Hollywood in your name. He's like, you are Hollywood. I can't think of a more Hollywood person than you. He's like, your book screams Hollywood. Your family screams Hollywood. I do come from a multi-generational family that was involved in music, acting, theater, management, you know, so I do come from a very Hollywood family. And so he did put me in touch with um, like a, um, a product developer type consultant um, that gave me a really excellent rate because it was a John Dempsey referral. And that is, so anyways, that was the gist of the meeting. He said, come and see me in two years. Uh, once, you know, once you've grown and once you've gotten better, I have not gone back to him yet because there have been these little weird bumps and humps, but I'm, I feel close to maybe getting back in there. I do follow him on Instagram and I, I think he'll remember me. It was, it was a fun experience, but that is the reason why I changed the name to Melanie Mills Hollywood. And it, he, he said, he goes, you're going to pigeonhole yourself because you're calling your brand Gleam by Melanie Mills, which is your product. And, you know, so when you expand, it's just going to be awkward. Not that it can't be successful. Look at Beauty Blender. She named her brand off of the, the product. Um, so, but he did say, you put that Hollywood name in. It's going to bring magic to your brand. And, I, and he said, why haven't you? And I said, I don't know. That seems like something really huge. Like, I don't, I just don't know if I can really embody and claim that. And he was like, yes, you can. And yes, you should. So it took months for me to really, really like turn that around. But that is why I did that. I'm glad I did. And it opened up the doors to so much international as well, because, you know, people do love that term Hollywood. So that is how that bit happened. So that was one of my most fun, fabulous uh, New York stories, other than, of course, all of my experiences that I've had with the makeup show. James is, um, like I said, a rock in the industry. He, he's like a superstar. Like literally when we're at the shows, he's got like a crowd of people, like just, you know, <laughs> hanging on him wanting pictures like he's such an inspiration oh you are <laughs> and I have had the honor to know him as a friend to be able to call on him to be able to ask him for advice um and I just anyways I love you James let's let's head into James babe you got me all emotional good thing <laughs> I have on my rose gold to hide my you know blush um, you know, I love you. I will never forget. I was backstage at Fashion Week uh, for New York One, which is our local news station. And I was doing a piece on Willie Cartier, who was one of the models in the show where you were putting the ice on. I and, didn't even know that. How funny. And I stumbled across Melanie, who I was such a fan of your work. Um, I had no idea then that we would become as friendly as we have, you know, I have seen, met, you met your mom and your grandmother and your daughter. And I've heard so many stories about your great grandmother and like just knowing that Gleam is celebrating 10 years and that Melanie Mills Hollywood is built by these beautiful, strong women. You know, it. I think that's part of the magic. I said, cause I've been in the chat while you guys were talking and I said, you know, Melanie understands what the pros need 
and what makeup wearers want. And I think that that sweet spot for me as a makeup artist who works in music video and, and photography and, and does so many beauty campaigns, you know, there is not a time where your product and now your brushes are not part of my every makeup application. And it makes me very proud because I love you so much, but it also, as a pro makeup artist, it makes me feel very secure. I know that if I have my gleam in my kit, I can underpaint, I can work with whatever camera is coming at me. I think the first time I used it was uh, either a Lady Gaga video or a, a video with David LaChapelle with Florence and the Machine. And I had to go pick it up, pick it up from you um because you which that was so amazing because you were in LA and you're like yeah. ah, I need it and I'm like well I'm in the middle of a pretty major gloom campaign but I'd love for you to pop by anyways and yeah. and it, it was awesome you you popped in it, you were just like wow Mel I can't believe you're doing this it was like we had like 14 models or something and it was just yeah, you were doing a big shoot that shoot was a little that shoot was a little later I think that was a different time because like it's family and you know I don't own the makeup show I uh I think people sometimes think that I do because I'm so passionate about it. As the director of education and artistry, for me, it's just about the community. And I think you are such a great example of why this industry needs small brands, needs female-owned brands, needs artistry-owned brands, because you bring something so special to every product you design and develop. And just the fact that even before we knew each other, you know, the time when you were doing that big shoot, we knew each other. I feel it figured I could call in a favor. But the fact that I was like, I think uh, I was replacing Sharon Galt on something. And so it was a last minute thing. Sharon and I had the same agent. They reached out to you and I was like, oh, I know Melanie. And that was the type of professionalism, but also the type of support that you offer artists. You know, it wasn't the project. It, you didn't even know what I was working on at the time. It was that there was an artist who needed your product and you understood that. And I think that speaks volumes for who you are to so many people in the industry. You know, you're a support system, you're a shoulder and to watch what you are doing with this brand, um, it's very inspiring, I think, for so many of us in the industry. No, oh, James, seriously. And, you know, on that note, after creating the brushes, I had to have a brush soap because I quickly realized as I was cleaning my prototypes uh, with like the Cinema Secrets and the, um, or the Perion or the whatever, the Mondo, which I'm not trashing those, they're, they're great brush cleaners, especially for quick cleans in between. But synthetic brushes in particular and all brushes quite honestly need to be washed properly with a beautiful brush soap that also conditions james and jeremy his husband have a brand called rebels and outlaws that is very dear to my heart because i'm a witch i have been one for a long time <laughs> i'm very very into my crystals my meditations my singing bowls <laughs> <laughs> and uh, James and I, I think without even realizing it connected on that level for a long time before either of us ever even realized that each of us were in that world. I didn't really, I mean, I knew that James was kind of witchy, but I didn't know to what extent. And I'm super impressed by him and his brand's amazing. They do these candles and these soaps and these oils and a brush cleaner. And I mean, are you doing wands too and stuff? And Yeah, we are. We're, uh, you know, for the, the thing with Rebels and Outlaws was really about pro providing artists a way to protect their energy, prepare their space, curate something for their clients and keep themselves safe and sanitized. And so the brush cleaners, the sanitizers uh, have been great for us in the pandemic, but I think the connection, you know, the, the intention um, I pulled out some rose quartz that this is a, was a gift from Ozzy. <laughs> um, because I, I think that people, you know, we give so much away to our clients constantly. We're constant caregivers. And I see someone like you, who's like a mom running a business, you know, running a TV show, creating a brand, and then caring for your brushes. So I just thought like, even in those small moments, if you can 
get rid of the pigment in the brushes, but also restore your energy, get that little bit of, of intention going, even, even if you don't believe in crystals, just that moment of magic, that intention, right? Of saying, I am focused on me right now. I am getting rid of this energy from this job so I can go and spend some time with my family and be focused on that. And to be able to collaborate with you was such a gift. You know, it's it's crazy right now in the world getting products made because uh, I'll talk about the brush soap for a minute. We, everything we do is organic. We only work with small businesses and brands. We don't work with companies like Amazon. So every ingredient of our brush soap and every part of that process is organic and food grade and female owned brands, queer owned brands, brands owned by artists of color. So even things like every bit of crystal, every part that goes into that uh, brush soap is disinfecting, but also sourced with great intention. And I think that you, the scent that you came up with, oh, it's so gorgeous, oh, yummy. so perfect. Um, it literally is a treat for your clients and for your brushes because you know. Let's. I, I've been doing this now. I'm old. I've been. I've been doing makeup now for 26 years. I have brushes that I've had from day one, and it's because I know how to take care of them. And the brush soap that we designed together is really one of those brushes that allows you to have a legacy brush. And, you know, I, I, I'm just over the moon with how it turned out. And I think, again, that shows your eye for innovation and your understanding of what our industry needs, you know? Well, I couldn't think of anybody better to do it with because I'm, I'm, so, in, I'm so impressed with the philosophy and like you said the intentions that you put into all of your stuff I mean his you guys he has an, a, a subscription by the way a monthly subscri subscription that's curated to whatever moon's happening that month whatever I, oh I mean he, he is no the person to talk about it but I am just so attracted and in love with it and when I realized I needed to have a brush soap I was like, oh God, I wish I could just do their brush soap. I love it. And I thought, well, why not just reach out, ask? That's something that a lot of us just have to do is you just sometimes have to ask. And I was like, hey, James, would you mind collabing? Would you and Jeremy mind collabing on a, on a brush soap? And, and this is it. This is the love infused cleanse and release brush soap. It's essentially the same um, cleanse and release brush soap that you guys carry, except they have a quartz crystal. We've got the rose quartz and then I have the mango um, the mango uh, bergamot tea scent. And it's just awesome. We're actually getting ready for another run. And these babies were like really hard to source. Yeah, so this impossible. next, yeah. So this next round is going to have some round ones in it. But the point is, is that I, you know, I chose the rose quartz because it's all about beauty and love, you know, which is what I'm all about, which is what my brand's all about. And so it was just such an awesome, awesome collaboration. We are sold out currently right now, but they are restocking towards the end of next week. So keep an eye out for that. Of course, in the meantime, you can go and get James's, but um, James Rose is too, like it's the perfect time for restocking because Rose Quartz is the battery of beauty. It is the mother stone. And, you know, for a family of such beautiful, strong women, I think it, it, it's the perfect stone for your brush soap. And so we're doing round stones um, in the new one because of issues with sourcing from other places in the pandemic year. But one of the things I love is that Rose Quartz is also about healing past trauma. So as we kind of come out of this and you pick up your brushes again and you get back to your kid and back to your clients, to have that little bit of love for Melanie Mills with that rose quartz there, you know, clean your brushes with it, infuse them with that love and beauty and carry on the tradition of, of Melanie's great grandmother and that like powerful beauty that goes right through that family from, from top to bottom, five generations of gorgeous women. Oh, it, it is a special soap. The brushes are really amazing, well-made. Um, I think we've touched on almost the whole line except for the beautiful, beautiful loose powders that tend to get overlooked because everybody's so interested in the creams because even though they're not like a new thing, they still kind of are. And there's still, there still is a learning curve even for professional artists and the consumer. So I find myself talking and talking and talking about the creams and then these beautiful dusts kind of get overlooked and these are triple milled. They're infused with the same pearl that's in my um, creams and infused of course with the jojoba oil, the aloe vera, the vitamin E, they literally, they're so luxurious actually. They feel like silk. 
um, they're really just like, if you use them by themselves, just this beautiful like halo. It, um, you can use the darker shades for like bronze or blusher. God, Natalie looks so amazing in the bronze gold dust. I can't even get over it, but um, <laughs> we've got Thank five you. shades and they're, they're great to top on top of the gleam or use by themselves. And you know, everything in my line is damn multi-purpose. My brushes are multi-purpose. You can use them for this. You can use them for that. The gleam is multi-purpose. Um, I pride myself, um, and this was before the trend of hopping on the 60 shades and the la la la. I have always prided myself in being inclusive, you know, and I have always loved working with darker skin tones. It's always, you're always, the grass is always greener on the other side, right? So as a pale girl, like doing, you know, melanated skin was just always like dreamy for me and so when I was on Dancing with the Stars and finalizing those first four shades I was currently working with Brandy Norwood and she was like girl don't leave me out I'm like honey absolutely not like and what's so unique is that even though I was I originally thought wise while I was on Dancing with the Stars that deep gold was really to even out those spray tanned crazinesses to look like a normal natural tan. I also needed that same shade to look stunning on dark skin tones. So I really took a lot of thought into all of this and, and, and it was not a bandwagon thing, the vegan thing, the gluten-free thing, the, 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 you know, multicultural thing, multi-purpose. So I'm proud. I'm proud to be in the forefront of that really. But, um, you know, um, moving forward, you know, one of the pressures about being a brand is always coming out with something new, you know, and it's expensive um, as a small brand like myself. So, and I have really kind of over the years, I, I kind of kept having to go around and around perfecting the, the gleam face and body radiance. The formulas are actually the original formulas from the get-go. I did add some new shades, but then I went from the black packaging, then I switched it up to the Melanie Mills Hollywood and that packaging that was like all the shades were in that pink packaging, very similar to this. Um, when I first launched Melanie yeah, this one. yeah, yeah, that one. It's like a little more matte and all the shades were in mm -hmm. that same colored tube. And I had always wanted to do all the tubes to look like candy reflecting like what was in, you know, inside, but it's expensive because you have minimums for each of those colors. And so I was kind of forced to stick with that one. And then again, another just fun fact story is as I was doing the relaunch of Melanie Mills Hollywood going into that brand name and the new packaging, I got approached by Cosmoprof, the locations, the beauty supply stores, not the shows. And I, this, this buyer that had been doing the makeup there for 20 years, just fell in love with my brand and myself and really wanted to bring it in. And it was a huge deal. We were going in 2,500 stores, 2,500 stores across America. And I also had to work on creating teams to train most of these stores across America. And I, I was skeptical because it's more of a hair place. It's more of like, let's run in and get my nail salon or, or my, I mean, my nail stuff or my waxing stuff or my hair color stuff or what I need for the week. Not really a makeup thing, but she was so driven to like help grow the brand. And she was really trying to make makeup more of a forefront um, at those locations. Well, as usual, guys, um, I'm launching. Uh, I'm getting ready to launch into March, and guess what? In uh, December, sh they move her to a different category. So I got thrown in with this like nail buyer that took over the category that was totally overwhelmed, and at the end of the day, got shoved behind the counter. But you know, it wasn't the right place. I didn't lose money on it. But the long story, the reason why I'm bringing that up was um, I couldn't spend time perfecting that packaging because that order was so big. I had to freaking get it done. So that's why that packaging was in that packaging and why now I'm finally so freaking happy with my new packaging. I really feel like I finally nailed it and got it to the place that I wanted to be able to get it at. So back to like launching the new products, especially coming out of the pandemic and just all of the woes that I had financially, I could really only focus on smaller things like the brush soap, the brushes. Um, you know, I have been in development. I had lip glosses. I still have one shade left up there um, that people love and I wanna bring them back. And I've developed 30 shades and I have developed lipsticks and lip liners and I've developed eyeshadow palettes and eyelashes, all these wonderful things. So now Ooh. that we've gotten over this hump and things are coming back, 
yes, I do plan on launching some more fun goodies and getting more into the cosmetics, but be patient and just, you know, at the same time, there's nothing wrong with having an iconic staple either. Not, we don't, one thing that does bother me a little bit with the cosmetic industry is the waste. I mean, it's like a very wasteful industry. So, so, and, and then everybody's striving to have something new, 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 new. And honestly, there is nothing wrong. And I'm proud to have this iconic product that's been knocked off by like 30 major brands. Um, and I'm still standing and, and, and come back to, and I just, again, can't thank you all enough for the 10 years. And it's just been an amazing ride and I love you all. And I know we've probably gone over our time. Mm -hmm. So do, is there any other last minute comments or, um, thing? Oh <laughs> we've got tons of comments. It's been going crazy. People are just commenting how much they love the brand, how much it's a staple of your, uh, of their kit. They're just in love with all of the product. The soap got a lot of love. I mean, I have this, so I have your whole line. I love this soap. It smells amazing. I can't get enough of it. The rose, uh, you know, crystal is awesome. I mean, we're just like, we love you. We love you. You have to go back obviously afterwards and just read the love. It's just spreading like crazy. Um, oh. We didn't talk about the spray. One last oh, yeah. thing. Let's talk about the spray. The spray. You guys, I developed the <laughs> spray originally. Um, the body makeup. Okay. When it started off, it was body makeup. Then it turned into the face and body because it's great for both. And it's safe and luxurious and hydrating and amazing for both. Um, but because I needed that body makeup to be so hydrating, um, I couldn't have it be waterproof because you, when you waterproof things, you put in ingredients that aren't great for your skin. Okay. So I decided to keep it as transfer resistant as possible as I could, which I did a darn good job because it does dry down to a really dry finish. However, if you're dealing with the bride in the, in the expensive white gown or the couture gowns for the celebrities, or you're in high, high humidity, let's face it. Lotions can move a little bit, Good news is, is that if it does happen to transfer, it doesn't stain. But I did develop the spray originally called body sealing spray to lock in that body makeup for those instances. But I had to work on it to be able to call it face and body. I had to go through like a year of testing for that because it is an aerosol. So now it's called super light, long lasting setting spray. You guys, this is the fucking bomb.com. I'm not even kidding you. I, 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 I can't get enough of this spray. To me, it's the best <laughs> on the market. It's so lightweight, it smells wonderful. I did add a little menthol into it to be cooling, especially for those um, high, higher humidities. You don't feel it, you can layer it like crazy. Face, body effects, it's it's pretty magical, again, with the multi-purpose situations. But so yeah, so there we are. We went through kind of the whole line with some really amazing guests and friends that had some really amazing memories. And I, I, I'm so humbled. <laughs> I'm just so humbled and I'm so grateful. And um, oh, I just love you guys so much. We I love really you, do. Mel. Oh, well, let's get to the winner. All right, we're gonna get to the winner. But before we do, I just wanna say a quick uh, thing because I actually met Melanie Mills last year, like two months before the pandemic. She was a speaker at one of my events that I produced. And such a powerful story. I had a group of amazing women come up and uh, speak at this event. And her story just resonated with the whole uh, group of women that were present there, the audience. And afterwards, you know, a, a lot of times when I produce events, it's kind of like a one and done thing with panelists. They come on, they get their airtime and they go off to the next thing. With Melanie, I mean, it's been over a year that I've been working with her now, collaborating. I'm part of the Glean team. She's been on my podcast. She's such a generous person, such a such a such an amazing person where she gives you everything and, and she works with you and collaborates and she builds those relationships. So I am so happy and thrilled and honored that I have you in my life. I'm now part of your Glean team. And it's just, it's just been such a great learning experience for me from such an amazing businesswoman who has had an, a company for over 10 years. That's a feat in itself. You know, usually companies don't last that long. And to be able to 
go on for a decade is just an amazing achievement. So uh, bravo to you. You are, you I'm are- I'm so sorry someone... for having to maybe move past without you chiming in because you are such an amazing part of my Gleam team. <laughs> I have been through it, you guys. Talk about the ups and the downs. A lot of the downs were hiring wrong people that I trusted to do their job. And then because I was so damn busy on set and trusting them, I have had lots of issues through the years with um, with that. And it's so hard to find good team. It really is. You know, it's so hard to find good team that can commit and actually do the job thoroughly and 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 really take the brand or the person they're working for at heart. And Alina, I am I we just keep growing. She came on, started with like some MailChimp's, and it's like, okay, now the Facebook group. Okay, now let's do these events. Okay, now we're gonna do a blog. Now we're gonna, I mean, it's just amazing. And I I love it because I can trust you. She's a powerhouse of a woman. I, I actually loved the ladies take the lead events. Um, I thought that they were so inspiring. I was very inspired and also grateful to be asked and to be a part of them. And I'm also excited to see you move on in your new pathway too. So oh, yeah, love, love all the way around. Uh, thank you so <laughs> much. And I'm excited and I'm happy to be a part of it. Like I said, um, the products, I'm not a makeup artist. I am a makeup lover and the products from your average person, uh, I can say are phenomenal. I use them daily. I mean, I go on ask a pro every week, host, uh, makeup artists, uh, different, different makeup artists. We've had Natalie on, we've had Andrew on, we have James on. Um, and I always get ready. It's one of my highlights to get ready, put on that gleam and go. Um, because sitting at home for the past year in this pandemic, one of the, one of the great things is to be able to put on that makeup and just, you know, connect and, uh, it's been, it's been great. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm excited about this. Shall we go ahead and name our winner? Yes. Okay. Yes. I know that everybody's like, it's Memorial weekend. Let's I go. know everybody wants to go party. Well, somebody's <laughs> going to go party with a, a, a big PR box and it's insane. I have it. I love it. And we're going to give one out to you right now. So I'm going to share the screen because I've been collecting names from everyone who's been commenting ever since we started. And we've got a lot of comments going on. So I'm going to share the screen right now. And you'll see my big wheel of names. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and spin it. Ready? Yeah. Right, let's do this. Oh my God. Joyce Robertson. Ooh, Ooh. Wait, this is somebody I don't know at all. Nice, so Joyce amazing. Robertson. Are you here though? That's the thing. You gotta be present in order to win. So if you are here, Joyce, please, uh, comment. I'd love to see you here. Otherwise, we're going to have to go to the next person because the rule was that you got to stay here until we finish. So do we have Joyce calling Joyce? Oh, come on, Joyce. I come hope on. you're there. Is she here? <gasps> Joyce is not here. Joyce. Come on back, Joyce. No. <laughs> Shall we go on to somebody who is here? Let's do it. All right. All right. If she chimes in, we will go back to her. Okay. Yes. Just for the person that might be getting picked next. All also, right. I do see a lot of names of people that I know are already getting boxes on here. So let's see. Let's we'll see take them out if up. they do. I was so excited that somebody I didn't know one. I was like, ah. Let's see if we have someone else. Let's do this. Philippe Hernandez, are you here? All right, come on, Philippe. I do happen to know Philippe, uh, and, and I love his husband, Chuck, and Chuck's twin brother, Christopher. So I know, I know that that box will be going to good hands if he is still present and available. He is here. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay. Congratulations, Philippe. You won. Awesome. Okay. Well, there you go. 
<laughs> awesome. Philippe, please email info at melodymillshollywood.com with your email address and all of that good information. And you guys, again, I cannot thank you enough. James, Natalie, Alina, Andrew, who was with us earlier, this really meant the world to me. I was feeling a little bummed because I was like, God, such an awesome moment. Like the last year was supposed to be all these awesome moments all the time. And, and then they just keep getting crushed by all these various different <laughs> things that are completely out of our control. Um, with that being said, um, as crazy as it all has been, I have found so many silver linings, um, so many wonderful lessons, so many things that I thought were devastating that have turned out to be amazing. And I hope that you all have found that too. And I just know that if you're still here, you're still here, we're going to still be here. We're going to get through this shit. And it, when we all get to see each other again in person, it's going to be so magical make sure you sign up for the makeup shows houston chicago new york um they're like the first live shows that i'll be a part of coming back and um we're it's just going to be sixth in new york city with our first event uh danessa Lajevan, van shelly and i uh with our first event june 6th in new york city which will be all about getting back to work and, and how are we doing this safely and then melanie joins us as a keynote and and educator cater in Houston to kick seasons. So, uh, our entire team has gone through COVID officer training. We are working with the CDC and all the states and PBA to make sure that we gather together safely. And Melanie, thank you for all the support with uh, all of the support through this entire year. Of course, of course, like j just, just mutual, mutual, mutual. Ah, uh, well, you guys, I know it's Memorial Weekend. I hope that you have your gleam because skin is definitely needs to be debuted and we got you covered. <laughs> so, um, but also just on, as, we're, as we're leaving, uh, we are having a 25% off sale ends June 2nd, uh, code uh, uh, celebrating 10 years, 25. And then just stay tuned and keep following us on all the different platforms and let me let me know anything you need to know. And I am available for one-on-one -on -one mentorship Zoom calls as well. You just DM or email me at info at melaniemillshollywood.com. And um, I just can't wait to see everybody in person again soon. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love 10 you. years, baby. Before we go, let's all raise a glass and cheers. Yes, yes, hang on. Oh, I better go take some extra Prilosec. <laughs> Same, funny. Oh, I love Congrats, you Congrats, Mel. Congrats. Love you so much. Have a beautiful Memorial Weekend. Be safe, be fabulous, be glee malicious. Thanks, guys. Thank Bye, you. guys. Bye, cheers. Bye. <laughs>